Boy, am I falling in love with this bike. What a classic, just a classic looking motorcycle, huh? So nice. But uh, so yeah, I just been geeking out, putting this bike back together. Um, it's kind of my favorite part is when it all just starts looking like a bike again. So I gotta do the carburetor. Got it. Man, all these carburetors I've had in like the last couple months, the jets are just seized in there. Ah, man, I, I really don't know. I, I have um, three things in my life I love the sound of. One is a woman having an orgasm. Two is your fishing reel, the, the drag just screaming. And then three, that pop when you break something loose when you with an easy out. Ah, perfect. How clean are your carbs? I guess, kind of like this. About normal, right? Fuck that. Mine are like this. Look how beautiful, huh? Not fucking around. Oh yeah, that's nice. There you go, motherfuckers. That's how you clean a carb. <laughs> hey, what's up? Where should I have a roast? It's called Bottoms Up, baby. That's the way we like our drink. That's the way we like our women. So listen up. Here we go. Yo, skip. Okay, so if you ever buy a bike from someone or have a mechanic redo your carbs, um, this is your butterfly. So this would be in here. I know that's not, I'm just putting it there right now. So this is your air filter. This is your engine, right? So. On your butterfly shafts, you see that shaft in there? Um, it is this right there and there. It's the shaft that hooks to your throttle assembly. There are seals that go on the end and hardly everyone ever replaces them. Like this is the seal and I'm pressing on it right now. It is that hard. So air would suck in through here into the engine and cause a lean, hard to tune condition. So anyways, you gotta replace those. New ones here. New, ready to go.
So just a little tip, you know. Scandalous me, can't follow me, dear card in her hand full of me, can't handle the way the stamina feels disrampedly bounce like a trampoline, hands with the heat, can't pull my feet, know just what her fan is to be, I sample the fiend damn close to a spleen, went straight from a boy to a man to a king, taking the ass, making the cash, and smell when a million, is just the beginning, ready and willing, get the hell on cause hell with your feelings, Bo give me love, bo give me some, don't talk with your mouth full of dick, I always fuck with my shoes on, so I'm guaranteed to get out quick. Got a smack for her, that ass with a blur, and I'm straight back to the earth. Interrupted by passion, stopped on my action, like she fucking tackled a verb. In the zone, done this, done that, and all I wanna do is go home. Pull the knickknack, petty wag, give a bitch a bone, so yeah. Alright, check this out. I know this is how the carbs look on your bike or the bike that you are looking to buy. This is the carbs I do. Does your mechanic do this or this? If your mechanic does this, I should be your mechanic. If the bike you're looking to buy has carbs that look like this and not this, come buy a bike from me. Being honest, don't fall for this bullshit. You want this. All right. Look what came in the mail. Got the starter gear. Um, so yeah, let's go uh, close up the engine, get this all assembled and I got the carbs done last night. I can put those on. Ooh, getting closer and closer. So essentially after that, I'll have to do some wiring, um, change the oil filter and put some new oil in it and that's about it. Alrighty, moving right along. Got the engine all buttoned up. Uh, one last thing to do on that is this new oil filter. So a uh, little plate underneath the engine there. Drop it, replace this. Usually these are all fucked up and no one's ever replaced them. So this bike will be nice and fresh. Um, that's it. Well, told you no one ever changes these. And then look, this one's even ripped. So I can stick my finger in there. Dude, people are so lazy. So if you go to a motorcycle shop or be at a, a car shop as well, a automotive repair, look how clean and organized their shop is and look how organized their tools and work areas. It's only be a direct reflection 
on the type of work you will be receiving. So, um, yeah, just most people are lazy. They don't give two shits. Sucks. But anyways, it'll be all good now. I was gonna start it up tonight. As you can see, took a few steps backwards, no exhaust, no carburetors, no tank, no seat, no air box. Buttoning everything up and your clutch isn't disengaging. So, um, gotta pull that off. See what's going on. I have an idea what it is. All good. Just sat back. Had a pour of whiskey. Usually helps. So, um, I don't know. Probably not going to film me just tearing back into the clutch. I mean, it's kind of boring. But, um, so yeah, kind of a waste of a half a day, but it happens. Yeah. It, I'll let you know what I find. All right, so I uh, figured out what was wrong with the clutch and all that. The On the clutch basket, the plate, it has uh, six bolts that hold it all together, and they all have shoulders on them. And one of the shoulders was grabbing a bit, not letting, it was like hanging up. So cool. Uh, bike is essentially put back together. I'm going to hook up all the wiring in the headlight shell and then toss the carbs on and then the air filter box. That's it. Okay, so uh, it has dawned on me that I have not done a compression test yet. I better do this before, even though I heard the bike run, I bought the bike as it was running. I better go take a compression test before I get too far down this hole. I got the uh, tester already set up. Um, so here we go. Um, making sure I have nothing in there. I usually keep little shopping bags in there to make sure nothing falls in. So I'm gonna climb up here and give this Kick. So zero, try not to get the mic cord. So two kicks, there's 150. There you go, three little kicks, get you 170 PSI.
so um the bike is all pretty much put together right now wiring all put together carburetors air boxes air filters handlebars gauges you name it everything is hooked together um so here's the thing um i have the battery in it right now it's all hooked up i'm getting ready to turn the key but there's only 2,000 something miles on this bike. This bike has hardly ever been ridden. This is the original headlight. If you notice, it's the original sealed beam. This is just a rubber boot. If you look, it is the non-replaceable bulb and this is all good. So the last thing I want to do right now is have this plugged into the wiring harness and turn the key on and figure out that I mistakenly hooked something up incorrectly and it burns this out. So this is why this is off. But what is gonna go on right now is I'm going to hook up the, the batteries are hooked up, but turn on the key, go through all the light functions and everything like that, spark, you name it, all the electrical system and Eh, I'm going to bet like 80% of it's correct. I'm going to bet there's probably like a tail light or something that is bad or something like that. Um, and go through catalog, make a list and go through and correct everything with the good old Harbor Freight multimeter that you get for 98 cents if you buy $800 worth of shit. So, all right, um, let's do it. All right, not that bad at all. Um, I didn't film it because it was just been boring of me probing and testing stuff. Uh, so, probably hear my dog right now. It is, uh, I just checked the computer before I turned the camera on and it's 11.58 at night. So essentially midnight and my dog is wanting to go to sleep like no other. And it's like, it's a healer. So on it, um, whenever it wants something, it tries to like actually push you towards it and. It's a good little struggle to have. Anyways, so um, the flasher assembly, if it was a Honda, it'd be known as a winker, but it's bad. You can hear it uh, activate, but it's not uh, tripping on itself. Essentially a flasher is just a circuit breaker, you know, as a switch. And so it's probably corroded inside. I have others laying around. If not, I'll just go buy one. Uh, next, horn. Horn is not working. Um, so I have to dive into that. The right rear, or excuse me, the front right blinker is not uh, working. It's just the bulb because the rear one is working and it says it's got, the, the bulb is bad. So I just gotta replace the bulb. And then the fuse, uh, I'm using a different amp fuse because I didn't have another one. And so I have to get the correct amperage fuses and a backup fuse and the little storage thing to put in there. So all in all, pretty good. And um, I just like doing it this way so everything's perfect. Um, I hate how people would just hop onto a bike and try to get it like, ah, oh, it's running without even rebuilding the carbs or like uh, adjusting the valves or something like that. You're like, uh, good luck with that, great. I'll be buying your bike from you in about 1.5 years when it's broke down on the side of the house and your old lady's like bitching at you because you're broke and you gotta sell it. And then it's mine and then I make it all better. And then I put it back out in the world. So, all right. All right, so I'm gonna get ready to fire this bike up, but the one thing that I need to change out first are these plug wires that are about 30 inches long and these boots. Now, um, the reason that these are on here is um, simply due to the previous owner did not know that you cannot run modern day automotive style type plug wires and boots on an old points ignition motorcycle. A lot of people don't know that, so be it. And the re I mean, there's only what, like 2,200, 2,500 miles on this bike, super low mileage bike, but um, you know, plug wires, they deteriorate after time. So I'm sure you've replaced them and thought he was doing a great job, but 
And, but anyways, uh, I got some regular copper core wire. If you have a points ignition motorcycle, you need to be running copper core wire. And I have the correct uh, spark plug boot here. I went and bought some new ones. So on the toss those on, toss some oil in here, hook up some fuel and start this bike up. So I'm stoked. So I'm getting ready to dump some oil in this. Look at this big, heavy dipstick. When's the last time you saw a fantastic dipstick like this? I mean, this thing is, I bet you it weighs a pound. This isn't no cheapy plastic one. This is fantastic. Man, what a great solid old bike, huh? Look at that. All right, let's get it started. It's time, it's time to fire. So uh, that is my IV fuel bottle. I got oil in it. I got the battery hooked up. I got fuel to the carbs. I have not turned the car, the fuel on. So who knows, I bench test the carbs, but it's been times when I bench test it and it's great and I put them on the bike and then I put fuel in them and they leak everywhere. Hopefully this won't be that, but um, we're ready um, to fire. We'll see what's up. Um, how many kicks? I'm gonna go with all uh, my normal four. This song. 